Hello, I'm Lago and welcome back. In this video I would like to do a review of ESP32 7-inch uh, touchscreen display that I received from Electrocrow and I would see can it be used to recreate something like this and this is actually the gauge dial for Mini Cooper S. But this is in uh, future videos. In this video I would like just quickly to do some unboxing of this and initial startup to see how it's working and how it's uh, it's build quality. So firstly we have stickers which are very fun and cute so I will try to use them in some places that I see fit but yeah. The other thing is actually inside the box and if we open we have a couple of good accessories of course USB uh, USB C uh, cable for 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 programming and actually charge uh, for powering on and programming the display display has its own uh, battery connector but doesn't come included with the battery and we have this connector that is actually for some GPIO or communication which I think in the future video I can actually use directly to, to, to connect to the car to the car spins but that's 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 a problem for the future me today let's just open this and yeah we have it so 7 inch display that is I think very very good build quality at the end side we have uh, we have we have a battery connector we have UART 0 and 5 volt main supply for for USB type C we have of course reset and boot pins we have a couple of uh, GPIO pins and I2C uh, of course separate connector for UART 0 and GPIOD, I square C again. We have, I'm not uh, completely sure what is this for, but we will check. And actually for SD card. And I must admit, this acrylic and everything here looks very, 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 uh, has very good uh, build quality. And I'm very satisfied at the first sight. But let's move the box. And uh, let's just use this. Uh, let's just use USB. And uh, let's try to power this thing to see what is going on from from the factory. Oh, uh -huh, it's powered up right away. We can see what is going on here. And we have this demo example right on. So let's check out is that screen working? Oh, it's actually working. Let's see what is actually the speed of it. Okay, it's a bit lagging on, on the side when you're moving actually desktops, but I think this is, this can be pretty fluent, I think. If you don't uh, have this large of, of uh, application running it, I think it can be even faster, but I think this is good enough. If you have static screen, I think it can really good mimic something that is happening like here. So speed and RPM. And couple of warning lights if it has to if it has to but i think for this one is excellent so let me try to see what is all functionality of this aha uh -huh, i can change into color and it's pretty much okay let me see i don't know if you can see when uh, in the video but the colors are are okay even from the side so the best viewing of course is from from the top but even if you are not looking at it directly it's okay I don't know if the camera can catch catch this but I think I think we have very good uh, product here let me take a screwdriver and unscrew this this plastic thingy and see what is actually happening uh, below Okay, and after four screws that were in each corner, I think we can just pop this acrylic panel off. Okay, it's see-through acrylic with this 
engraved right into it, which I really, really like. Okay, and now I think we can see each component that is actually in embedded here. So we have GPIO extension, we have uh, HMI connector for the display. I think we have some power stuff here and of course ESP32 S3 room 1. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, to confirm that this is the correct chip because this is very powerful. This is even powerful, more powerful than the chip that I used for my project which is ESP32 S2. So this should, should have everything basically from the two cores, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and actual speed of ESP32 S2. This S2 is only one core and doesn't have Bluetooth. This should have, if I'm not mistaken, everything. So this is very nice. Okay, now after this, we can take the other mask as well, I think. Yes. So this is this is larger, not see-through acrylic, but this is um, thicker than first layer and I think this this actually creates this illusion of a very very high high quality build I think this, this layer because this is this one is just for for this is just for design and for this engraving here but this is actually what is creating the illusion of strong strong uh, build okay let's see the PCB now so we can see the battery connector um, SD card connector, GPIO, okay, we have engraving here, what is actually connected, boot, we have a website, we have exactly a product name here, which is very, very nice, and of all again we have some engraving here of actual pinout here and of course we have our ESP32 S2 and some more connectors connection here. So in general pretty neat pretty neat display with everything incorporated with ESP32 S S3 so let's see can we disassemble this a bit more and yes front mask can can be pulled off but but display is glued to this side of pcb and it will not fall off we have rivet cables here at the bottom side and that's pretty much it so let me put this display back together and then try to program it And yes, programming this display was very easy with the libraries that are already included by Elecro. So I will link uh, all of this in the description. So basically what I did is just modified their example and add custom UI using Squareline Studio. And the UI is just simple and looks like this. And in the future it will look mostly something like this, but that is now only design stuff. And you can see that the, the touch screen is actually working. So with this and for so so with this and for example with this extra button here, we can uh, incorporate a couple of uh, stuff. For example, we can uh, design this uh, this button here to be by pressing pressing this, or we can have some configuration in order for you to select. To select a uh, UI that you like. So, for example, if you tap uh, twice here, you can change change the design or color. Or, for example, go to the some configuration screen where you can select uh, uh, which which thing you would like to see, uh, or which type of information you would like to see uh, presented on display. So, in next video, I would like to 
instead of this simple demo uh, GUI, I would like to create something that is more like this, maybe more modern, but in this in this fashion to be, let's say, period correct, and just port it to here, and then I would like actually to use ESP32 from this device to talk directly to 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 the car via CAN via this connector but on the car. And for that I need CAN transceiver which is something like this, but that is for another video. So I would like to thank again for Electrocrow for producing this uh, great for the money display. I would like to create um, one additional video on actually how to program this, maybe step by step. Uh, but their documentation and their video is uh, pretty spot on and then to try to design something in Inkscape that I can be uh, that I can port to uh, this this display and then introduce introduce can transceiver into whole topic this is small device if we either unsolder this screw terminals it can be very small and it can be easily uh, just glued maybe to the back of this display as we already have this mounting holes it can be easily mounted to do maybe cover with some 3d printed bracket and if you can compare it size wise it's it's pretty uh, a bit smaller than original gauge but i think it's it's a very 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 good size for uh, for its replacement so that's it for this video if you enjoyed please check electro website and subscribe and see you in the next one take care